Over 3 million kids are bullied each year, and it can leave its victims and their parents feeling helpless and alone. But when it happened to teenager Val Weisler, she decided to do something about it. And what she did was so remarkable, it has caught the attention of everyone from Justin Timberlake to Julia Roberts, and has changed lives all over the globe. My freshman year of high school, I definitely felt like I was alone. It was a struggle to get out of bed every single day. I hated going to school. What no one knew was that my parents had gotten separated. I started getting really quiet, and a group of girls took that and labeled me as the target. I was getting called the mute girl and the shy girl. One day I opened my locker, and the girls that bullied me had put post-it notes telling me to kill myself. I felt more alone than I had ever felt in my whole life. How much longer can I go on every single day dealing with this? The thought of dying definitely crossed my mind. One day, I saw a boy getting called fatty by a bunch of jocks. I walked up to him and I said, you matter. He looked at me and started to cry and he said, you really validated me. And he told me that that night, he was planning to go home and commit suicide. That sparked the Validation Project. I started the website to make other kids know that they weren't alone. The Validation Project has chapters in 970 schools, and we work with teenagers in 100 countries. I hope to change kids' lives around the globe forever. Please welcome Val Weisler. What an amazing story, Val. Such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. That part of your story when you were talking about opening up your locker and getting those notes from, from uh, bullies, basically telling you all the different ways that, that you could kill yourself, what went through your mind as you read those? That had to be just terrible. It was. Yeah. At first, it was really complete shock that anybody could go to sleep at night when they were telling that to someone, to right. a fellow student but I was really at such a low point and a dark time in my life that I accepted it and I told myself, that's what I am, that's all that I'm worth. And I took that as my identity because I didn't have anybody else to turn to. And so it was when you spoke to that boy who was being bullied because of his weight, that's what kind of turned it around for you, right? It was almost like I woke up yeah. from a really long nap that I wasn't supposed to take. I all of a sudden realized that there were kids, not only in my school, but all over the world, that are dealing with this every single day. And they need support so much more than I did at that time. But when you began the validation project, it was a website where kids could go to let you know what they were feeling. And you were the only voice on the other side. 14 years old, advising these kids. How did you know what to say to them? I kind of thought, I'm in their shoes also. Yeah. What would I want to here if I was a girl in Oklahoma who couldn't come out because she goes to a Baptist school or a boy in Uganda who is, you know, trying to take care of his dying mom. Like, all these things that these kids were dealing with, I told myself, what would I want to hear? And how have you changed their lives and how have they changed your life? I mean, they've, they saved my life. The Validation Project definitely saved my life. It, it, that's all I could say. But I feel like we've changed their lives because we've given them validation. At the time when they were literally at their lowest point, hanging by a thread, the validation project was that thread, and we validated them, we gave them self-worth, but it was not only for the victim, it's also for the bully. Nobody wakes up in the morning and says, like, I think I'll be really cruel to people today. They have something else in their life that makes them feel small, yeah. and to provide a positive outlet like the validation project, to use that energy as opposed to making someone else feel sad is, Changes That's when you stop scenario. the cycle. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It, you, this has grown the validation project much more than just a website now. Where do you stand at this point with the project? We're now an international organization. Uh, we are represented in 100 countries with 6,000 teenagers, and 970 schools use our kindness curriculum to not only teach kids how to stop bullying, but how to start making a difference. But you use mentors, right? Yeah. yeah. We launched a mentoring program and a community service program. So now kids come to us with their, st their skills and their struggles, and we partner them with someone who is the person that they want to be when they grow up. So if someone likes to cook, we partner them with a famous chef in New York City. If they like to act, then we partner them with someone on Broadway. And this person becomes their mentor for two months and is really their cheerleader. And then they go back into the community, the, the kid who was bullied, and they give back. Exactly. They, which is fantastic. You yeah. really are amazing. Thank you. We have um, someone in the audience who you've truly made an impact on, 17-year-old Courtney and her mom, Lisa 
are here. Welcome to both of you. Courtney, what was life like before you met Val? Before I met Val, um, I was very insecure. I wasn't confident. I felt like I didn't necessarily fit in in my school, and I was teased because of it. Um, and once I met Val, it gave me the opportunity to start making sure that others never felt the way I did. So I took it, and I have hopefully made such a big impact on my community while building my own self-confidence as well. Yeah, you're now involved in the validation project yourself. Lisa, listening to your daughter, knowing what she's gone through, what would you say to Val? Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Val. Um, I've just seen Courtney grow into such a confident um, young woman and she really loves taking care of people. And so this was the perfect platform for her to go out and help people and get involved. And um, I'm super proud of her and Val. They're both amazing girls. Thank you. I couldn't agree more.